one would agree when it comes to mass shootings, one time is one time too many. But it's one, two, a hundred, three hundred plus mass shootings just this year, according to the Gun Violence Archive. It's a lot, and it can be hard to stomach, especially for children. Definitely be honest with your kids. You know, you don't want to uh, try and withhold the truth or, you know, avoid kind of talking about uh, what happened. Tom Cutting, a therapist at Providence Sacred Heart, says that anxiety and depression can take hold. It's normal, but it doesn't have to be overwhelming. Ask open-ended questions and uh, listen and offer your encouragement to them. Talking is a good thing, he says, whether you're young or old. Any kind of difficult thing to process, it's going to be more difficult to process it in isolation. If anxiety is left on its own, it can change into other negative symptoms. So beyond talking, be it with a parent, a family friend, or even a teacher, what can be done when it comes to negativity? Cultivate kind of the antithesis of that, right? So, uh, you know, really seek out those positive moments in life. Mental health, he says, is equally as important as physical well-being. Keeping your mind healthy and fit, well, think of it with this metaphor. You don't want to burn out. Uh, someone can think of their mental well-being as a fire that, uh, you know, has to be kept going, right? So, what's your wood? That would be it letting your kids hang out with their friends, go out and enjoy the outdoors, things like that. Another thing he mentioned, and this is critical, is watch your diet. Make sure it's balanced. And he doesn't need food in this case. He says if you're watching too many crime thrillers or other negative programs, it can bring you down. Make sure you're finding positive things as well. I'm Hawk Hammer, KSY4 News. Thanks.